Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished the hold and I uh, got all the challenges. So now all that's left to do is a secret hunt. So there's a bunch of secrets I missed and post mastery. I'm not sure how much of this I'll get done today. It could be all of it. I'm gonna guess it's probably not. So step one, locate secrets. Check for wall cracks. Uh, there is a secret on this floor, I see. So anything that's not fully explored, or of course has secrets con uh, conquered, not all of them, is something I need to check. Now this scaled down room image is not always the best thing for crack hunting, because I don't always see them at the smaller size. It doesn't look like it's a lot smaller, but it's enough smaller to make a difference. If there were a secret wall there, I believe since it's surrounded by broken wall, it might not show up? So that'd be a clever place to hide one. And I did not indeed spot any from here. So if I would restore this, there's a room to find and a secret to conquer. Alright, guess I gotta take a closer look. I could check this, but I'm... You know what? I know what. Check it out. Uh, let's go here. Don't know what I was doing here. This is for like um, some other hold. If you have broken walls and then normal walls and then a secret wall, it shows up as a hard wall of, well, no, no, a soft wall. This was a hard wall. Okay, so if it's soft wall and that's a secret, then yes, that does in fact disappear. Okay. <laughs> Let's play something in the second sky. Uh, uh, King Dugan's Dungeon, that's what it's called. Okay, well let's check there then. Okay, this room's kind of a pain to get to because I would have to go through this whole mechanism with the Mimic again if I wanted to. So I just restored to here. Okay, well that would have been a real clever place to hide a secret. Maybe I'll use that idea someday later in one of my own holds. Um, if I ever get around to building more. But that's not where it is. So I'm just not finding this thing, huh? There you are. You're in this room. Okay, so I have to... Okay, I restored back to here when a roach was alive. Uh, no problem. Doesn't matter. So I have to reverse rolls. <laughs> B throws roll will be played by a mimic this time. Uh, I don't need to do that. I do need to do this. This looks like a problem, but it's not because I have vertical space here. Just enough. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, B throws now in there. That wasn't too bad. All right. Hey, yes, turn off room lock. Another secret chamber where everyone but me least expects it. Huh, okay. You've taken the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, so it's another warp zone. Alright, so some kind of code you put in here will let you skip to other things. Let's go to 17. How about that? Which side of the thing is the one on? 17 doesn't open. Okay. That's not a 7. <laughs> That's not how you write a 7. <laughs> I'm good at numbers. There, that's 17. It's not open. Uh, okay. That's the only number I'm trying. <laughs> so it's a warp zone, not actually a puzzle room. Alright, so that was the first warp zone that I missed. Okay, so somewhere in this monster of a level... Wow, this one's huge. Gotta find some cracks. Is it there? It is. Right, under the turn counter but it's not. Okay, is it here? I mean, you're being real suspicious about this. One of these is going to be something. This one. There we go. I'm invisible. No memory of what this level was about. It was a long time ago. Wraithwings, hi. Um, so Wraithwings and invisibility. Okay, well this won't be bad at all. It's going to be quite true. Okay, aggression. Uh, aggression, of course. So aggression 
could help for some of these outer boys here. To try and bring, like, this dude toward me. Let's do some of that. Because otherwise, they're a little too far out to friend, uh, get to me in a friendly way. Are you two close enough to each other to interact at all? I don't think so. Well, I mean, I can just push you along there until you collide with one of your friends and become more aggressive, right? Let's try that as an approach. Here, look at me. Look at me more. A little more. A little more. Well, you know what? That's good enough. Because I can squish you together with your other friends. And there's a nice little squishy spot right there. Okay, so now you two. I need to make sure you can come to me. Like this you should, at least some. I want both of you, though. Come on up. Both of you. So, right, um, when invisible, Wraithwings cannot be pulled, only pushed, unless they are aggressive. Because a Wraithwings uh, flea range is exactly the same as an Invisibility Potion's smell range. Okay, that's getting closer to what I want, but it's still not quite what I'm after. Perfect, that will do. Okay. Uh, now I still can't... No, not perfect. I still do need some assistance for moving you. There we go, that's enough. Okay, the rest I can just get. But since you're offering yourself to me like that, I will take it. There we go. Cool. Okay. That's a good room. I like it. It shows off that principle quite clearly. I mean, I didn't go down the path that would have failed by killing too many Wraithwings, so I had no aggression left, but... <laughs> uh, but that's what would have happened. There's a secret here. Is it in this room? Not that I can see. Yeah, definitely don't see any cracks. Okay, could be anywhere. Okay, it took a bit of looking around, but I did spot it. It's here. Not in a place I would expect to look, because when I'm hunting for secrets, I of course look at, like, okay, what are the outer boundaries of the map? It's this edge, right? So I need to look in this room, north and south uh, boundaries. This room, north and south. This room, north, south, and west. This room, north, south, and east. This room, east, north, and west. This room, all along there. But... Sneakier ones can go in a route like this, because I was not checking south edge of this room. That didn't stand out to me until I did a second pass. Okay, it's here. Don't think this is a very... Oh, no. Um, I immediately get a vibe of what I still consider the worst room in the hold. Even that one on 25th level couldn't top it. You know the one I mean. Split up into a grid like this. Goblins, mimics... Yeah, this is very similar. Oh, gross. Why another of these? No! I mean, it's not as nasty, so how many buckets? So, gotta kill her before too many of those have gone by. Alright. I'm gonna have leverage problems, I can tell. All three of you need to start in such places as those. And you two, all three of you, really have problems getting trapped in there, so try not to. So just move mostly northeast, but also mostly focus on this mimic. This won't actually be too bad. Yeah, while this is technically a similar format to the Super Nasty Goblin room I'm thinking of, it's not as bad. I would really like it if you could reach your destination quickly. Um, but I do need you to do your job, too. That's fine. You need to do some cleanup before you get in there. Um, I don't have a time limit anymore. Since I'm interacting with this directly... Okay, this room's totally fine. Um, it just calls to mind one that was not. That's all. 
Um, can you finish that? You can. Uh, you are in a little bit of danger here. No, those buckets will work fine. Okay. Buckets will take care. Let's just go ahead and have these guys finish their jobs real quick since I can. There we go. Okay, so only one to worry about. Kill that queen. Somehow, you did it. Good job. Uh, B throws in a corner. There we go. Okay, so you need some rightward movement somehow. There's some. There's some. There's uh, none. You can almost make it now. You can make it now. There we go. Okay, that was totally fine. Cool. Okay, so that's sixth level. Seventh level has one to find somewhere. Well, I found it. Man, greenhouse walls do not show secrets well. So I was looking around with alpha blending off. Took like four loops all the way around the entire wall till I finally... There's a cracked wall in this room. Can you see it? It's near where Bithro's standing. <laughs> Only a few tiles away. No, you can't see it. It's here. <laughs> At least I couldn't. Maybe people have better eyes than I do, but boy, that just is, like, completely invisible to mine. All right. Ooh, ortho squares. All right. Those exist. Uh, no, they don't. <laughs> Not in this version of Drod. I mean, this is Drod 5, but... Uh, so obviously this is a new room. Cannot have a challenge in it since I did all those. Based on a challenge posted by Zex20913 and finally made possible in 2.0. However, this room is not identical to the challenge since Ortho Squares affect Monsters Movement too. So the challenge is still available as an achievement in Once South. Oh, okay. So it's a copy of this room and I moved orthogonally in there. Okay, so this is an alternate version that actually has Ortho Squares. I don't remember doing that challenge. It seems plausible that it's a thing that I did, but I don't remember it. Yeah, that changes things. I went far enough south that that queen went up there. Yeah, ortho squares were a Drod 2 addition. For those who didn't know... I'm in danger. Uh, as in, I'm totally gonna die if I stay here. Uh, well, I escaped, but I'm still dead. Okay, so let's um, take a better approach to that, maybe. Let's go ahead and be sure to actually kill those queens. Uh, not let her get that far. Here, optimal place to start is there. I need to wait a turn here, so you keep going south. This seems almost reasonable. Problem is, well, there are a few of them. I have to go all the way over here because ortho squares are, just make everything so awkward. They've never been an element that I've particularly enjoyed working with. Let's see, weirdly that's safe. Weirdly this is safe, but then I die. Yeah, so that ends up killing me, and this ends up wasting enough time that I don't get to where I want to be. Uh, I got there a little faster. Maybe I can go down here. Maybe if I go down there a bit f quicker. Yes, this is a good place to be, because I can do that. Uh, while that's safe for a turn, one turn's not enough. Uh, I also note that I'm now south of that queen, not where I wanted to be. Oh dear. <sighs> yeah, again, I killed the queen, but all moves lead to my death, either one or two turns later. Or the queen's getting away. Well, the queen's getting away, I guess. All right, let's rediscover how ortho squares work. 
I mean, I know how they work, but just the dynamics of combat on them are just so weird. Like, nothing is coming to me the way I want it to. It all just stays a little too far away. Like, here's a good spot for a moment. And then sometimes that happens. Good things are not happening here. Uh, weirdly, this is actually very safe. Ow. That death notwithstanding. Wasn't checking my 30 count there. Um, don't know if I'm making any progress toward anything. I should probably just start over and do something different. All right, so nasty room here. What things can I influence? I still feel like the key to this lies in killing that roach queen right away. I could suggest to that one that she go in there and maybe that would help something. Let's try that, I guess. Because now I have much easier access to this one. There we go, one queen down. So that's fewer spawns. And you two are kind of together, so you're, you're sharing space, therefore making less roaches together. And here I have a... Um, a spill valve up there. Okay, I made it. I'm here. There we go. This looks much better. So letting that queen go in there seems to have been the key, or maybe I just played better here. Either way, efficiency was the key, ultimately. If you're not moving fast, you're not moving anywhere. Alright, spill valve emptied. <sighs> Got another one right here, so I'm gonna stick to this spot for a moment, which again is weirdly safe. Safer than it looks like it should be. Let's see if I can make my way in here. This might be possible. It was. All right, so one dynamic that I'm feeling from these ortho squares is that um, everything moves slower. So distances, like way the heck up here, at which things are dangerous, uh, are smaller than what I'm used to. As in, like, something has to be closer to me to be dangerous than uh, what I would intuitively expect from my normal Smite Master's instincts. Okay. Room's basically done. Cool. I don't very clearly remember the feeling of doing this challenge, but... I can say with some confidence that it did not feel like that. So that did very significantly change the room. Cool. All right. Uh, room filled with orthosquares that I didn't really hate my time in. That was fine. Eighth level, done. Ninth level. Really? So hold on, I have a comment here that I'm supposed to pay attention to. Something something ninth level. There's a secret you missed on ninth level that won't show up. Okay. The only way I could have missed a secret here is if there's another stairway, because I have 100% explored, and none of those rooms were secrets. So let's look around and see if there's a hidden stairway here? If that is to be believed, there's something to find on this level. But how could that be? There isn't a way in the editor to mark a room as... something you don't need to explore. Or something that doesn't count toward exploration percentage. In the same sense as you can mark a room as non-secret and non-required. That still puts it as uh, exploration. 
So let's at least check wall cracks. This level style sure does make cracks a lot easier to spot than greenhouse. Uh, Nuntar, who, by the way, um, was the one who remastered this hold, said something to me about how he wanted to use a different level style for every... Uh, so there are 12 level styles in Drod, 12 official ones. And, um... Oh, hey, I found you. Aha! Gotta get up early in the morning to pull one over on Beethro. <laughs> this is not gonna lead anywhere, Beethro. It can't. He's so excited. Uh, right, something, something. There are 12 official level styles in Drod, and, um... Uh... He wanted to have to use each one twice, but also have a unique one for level 25. So I guess that was the only fortress level that I saw. I am not amused. <laughs> or was Mosaic Frost only used once? That was on level 13. <laughs> All right. So that was the secret. Okay, that was worth seeing. <laughs> so thanks for that. I would not have found that otherwise. Tenth level, nothing. Eleventh level, still got one to find. Okay. I found it. Surprisingly enough, not in this corner. It's somewhere else. Hmm. Could be worse. Could be a Tom mother in here. Guess I spoke too soon. <laughs> Looks like there's something else different about this room. <laughs> I see the trapdoor gate. That was there then. Uh, the tar layout is slightly different. The walls under the tar are too. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I restored to exactly there because I saw it was a bit of. I would have to walk through this tar maze to get back to this room, so I said, okay, let's just restore it here. Beethro had that line queued up. Perfectly. That was some real good timing. All right. Uh, so there's a tar mother in here. So tar is all going to grow, causing me tar baby problems. This might be real nasty. It might not, but it might be. Uh, every place where I drop a trap door will eliminate a tar spawning spot. So that should be all right. Um, is this one of those seven bridges of Konigsberg situations? That's my exit, and I mean, kind of? Yeah, see, now that's what's gonna happen. I guess I can just wait here for a moment, let that grow. Let it grow again or something? Well, that's not the way I like things to be. That's better. All right, let's hope that allowing that much growth will allow this to all be possible. There's no target. Those didn't exist yet, though given all the other non-existent elements that have shown up in this hold, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a secret here somewhere with a target in it. All right, no spawning spaces there. This was not nearly as bad as it looked like it could have been. I missed a trapdoor. There it is. Uh, it's two trapdoors. Okay. So that means that I have to go around this way to drop that before I move on. Is that the something else different? No, it's the same. Never mind. Uh, no spawning spaces there. Yeah, that's correct. This will turn into stable tar. Uh, that happened. I can clean it up manually, probably. Um, my sword is a little hard to turn here. Okay, and yes, tar mother can go down. I don't need her for anything anymore. Okay, cool. Being clumsy because I'm trying to do that as fast as possible. It's fine, don't worry about it. There we go. Okay. Well, that was cool. All right, next. Whoops. Uh, yes, restore. That's done. No secrets here, thankfully. Yeah, so Mosaic Frost. Was this the only one? All right, let's check this. Foundation. Fittingly, first level. Uh, above ground. 
deep spaces, city, swamp, iceworks, greenhouse. This is a test of how quickly I can name a level style on site. Caldera, uh, Badlands, I believe. Foundation, so second foundation level. Second above ground level. Second swamp level. Possibly the only mosaic crossed, unless there's another one. Uh, the other deep spaces. Beach. The other caldera. The other foundation? No, wait, one of these was mixed. There was some crazy mixed style stuff going on. I already saw two foundation levels, but the, the the one that was mixed did involve foundation. So go down here and it's actually beach. Okay, so that's the first beach level. So second foundation. Forest, first forest. Second badlands. So yeah, second mosaic frost, there were two. Uh, second iceworks. First greenhouse, no second greenhouse. I just complained about those walls. Second city, second forest, and the only fortress. Okay, so that adds up. All right, so secrets. What else do I have? This one, 15th level, has one somewhere. All right, I found it. This is a sneaky one. Similar sort of spot as that um, greenhouse secret I just found. So yeah, it's that, like these south, um, southeast or southwest corner tiles are gonna be the worst for it because you only see half a tile up here for the crack to be in. Those are the hardest to spot. Oh. There are no visible enemies here. Are there invisible ones? There are. Spiders. Okay. So just like that goblin room, which is not on this level, but with spiders instead. Okay. So trapdoor gate. Well, I mean, spiders are just roaches when shallow water is not involved. Um, I do need to maintain access to both sides of this. I mean, this should be safe enough. Oh, it's not. But if I could step north one more time... I can't really. Okay. Um, so there are many approaches to this. Here's the one I'm going to take. Going to create for myself a little holding chamber there. And sort of a barrier here. And that should be almost adequate. See, not quite, though. If I can move quick enough, it should be okay. And I can move quick enough. Okay. Because I still had this angle of attack open. All right. That's all fine now. Cool. So I guess I was supposed to find this one first before the harder goblin version. Makes sense. All right, cool. Okay, and that's that. I got a 25th place tie somehow. <laughs> All right. Um, how many more? Based on the answer to that, I'll decide what to do. If there's like one more, I'll do it now. There might just be one more. There is just one more. I guess I'm doing it now. All right, let's find a secret on 24th level. They do kind of tend to hang out in this room, don't they? I never stepped on that checkpoint at the end of the level. Well, I mean, I'm going to do this because it's just too dark here. All right, forest's another one where they can hide well. It's not in this room. They are frequently in the exit rooms. So I guess if I want a full clear, I would go... Nowhere. That's a state that doesn't exist. Well, let's hope it's not in one of those two rooms then. I found it. It is in one of those two rooms, but I can ignore the rest of the room to do it. It's also right under the turn counter, so no wonder I didn't see it at first. Okay, so last secret in the hold. Cool. Uh, cool, so we can probably finish this today then. Uh, this tiled floor gives me a case of the scarbs. Scarbs? Huh. No, wait, scarbs? This tiled floor gives me a case of the scarbs. Scarbs. That, uh... That word has a meaning to me, but it would take a long time to explain. <laughs> uh, I probably will explain it eventually. Uh, in a future LP, think back to that line. <laughs> You'll know it when you see it. Uh, okay, so... 
What's the deal here? Somebody has to kill this serpent. I could do it myself on the trapdoors. This is a this is the format of uh, Journey to Rooted Hold level 25. All those levels up in the northeast with the guards, but not guards this time. So brainy stuff. Uh, you're not going to lay a lot of eggs. Oh, but I have a real problem here. Both of those two are going to make problems for me. What do I do about that? I can't get to both sides. Ah, they will flood in and protect it. Good. Okay. So keep that from overgrowing. Serpent is coming. That's okay. Um, no, it's not. I have to deal with the serpent now. All right. Oh, and roaches are here too. Well, that's not great. Let's see, so what I want is to create a serpent trap, which is not what I'm doing here. There we go. Serpent trap created. Roaches are just going to be pests. But I have to ignore them for now because I have tar priorities here. Okay, I made it, I think. Um, I'd like this tar to grow and protect me or something. But that's not going to happen in this arrangement. Do I have more than 30 coming? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, that's not even more than 15, so technically I can keep up with this. Wouldn't want to, though, so let's not. Okay, so let's think about this differently. I have no reason to kill this Tar Mother immediately. The Serpent is my primary concern. Well, I mean my primary primary concern. Is giving myself some time here. Okay, so while I have that amount of time, I can probably do serpent business. Let's see, I'll do my serpent business this way. Okay, perfect. Serpent business done. There's very little I can do with these trapdoors to meaningfully slow down these roaches, so I'm not going to try. Let's see if I can have the tar grow instead. If I just, like, sit in the perfect place like this and have it reasonably clear, which it won't be. Oh, that's good enough. Okay, I'll take it. So those will be acting unbrained right now, which doesn't really change much. And I can allow this tar to grow now because I have no reason to actually clear it. I just need to be able to get around, that's all. Okay. Uh, so tar mother. Other tar mother, next priority. Then again, why? I can ignore her and go for these queens instead. So that's what I'm going to do. I can build myself a little fortress here, kinda. I can't build a very good one, though. But you know what? That's a good enough one. Oh dear, um... A few of those will stay in place, right? Well, I can't make it in there right now. So you know what? In that case... What if I stay here for a moment? So this is as far out as I can be and still be safe. The amount of time I get is enough to sneak in here, okay. And all I need is one single Roach Queen to be on one of these two tiles to protect from Tar Mother problems. So everything seems okay. Good. Sure, Tar Babies will start happening from there now, which will be annoying, but I can deal with it. Can I get away with this? I might be able to. I was. Huh. It was a bold move, but it worked out in my favor. How nice. So tar growth can't protect me anymore if I do that. Um, I might actually want to allow some of that, or just go like quicker for this brain so I have better... Uh, something or other. Here, let's use this technique. Ooh, let's use that technique better. 
There we go. Now I'm trapped. Still trapped. That'll do. Thanks, Starsoft Horticulture Facility. You taught me stuff that's applicable to the very oldest holds. <laughs> Not, you know, the easiest hold in the world, but the oldest. Uh, I can almost get away with that. I can get away with that. Oh, if I had one more turn. Well, I can't invent one more turn, so let's go this way instead. Great. Room done. Hold mastered. Everything's cool. All right. Never see this room again for as long as I live. It'll be too soon. Ah, oh, come on, Beethro. This room is fine. This is a great room. I liked it. Hold mastered. All right. Let's see what's in store for me. Back on first level. And post mastery. On second thought, let's not do that today. So I recorded all of my genuine first reactions to what's down there. Uh, there was more to it than I expected there to be. So I'm making the executive decision to split this up. So I'll see you next time for Post Mastery. It's going to be a good time.